Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Coconut Almond Macaroon from Decadent Ales is the one for you. Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So today we are gonna try Coconut Almond Macaroon from Decadent Ales, uh, India Pale Ale with coconut, almond, and sugar added. Jessica picked this up at Megabev? Yeah. Uh, $4.99. It's been a long time since I picked it up, though. Yeah. They're, I don't know what those date codes are. But, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what this uh, brings. 8.2% uh, ABV. Nice hiss still. Maybe it'll have aged a, a little bit and it'll taste like a Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> Doubtful, right? Good. I don't know. Just dump the rest into your glass because okay. I'm sure you'll drink it. And I will not. Now, I don't want to read the side of the label, but the head is gone. So if they're using real almonds, I'm guessing it's from the oils that are coming out of the, the almonds that are killing the head. Okay. Um, color. Yellow. Yep. Very yellow, hazy, can't see through it at all. I don't even see any bubbles coming up. Smell. I get more of like a, almost a tart citrus. I was thinking citrusy, which is weird because coconut and almonds are not citrusy. Yeah, maybe maybe it's because it's straight out of the fridge. Because usually you, you associate coconut with like a porter or a stout where you would let it warm up and have those flavors come out. Yeah. Maybe there's some coconut. May, like, I, I yeah. almost want to say like a rum coconut. Maybe some coconut extract. Yeah. Okay, well, We're let's gonna taste. We're going to try it. I don't think I could tell either. Flavor. I could. Really? I get coconut up front, but then it's like a big blast of citrus. I could just taste like a citrus IPA. It's not... Like, why would you do that? I don't... No coconut. No almond. I was kind of hoping for some... Maybe some almond joy action going on. I mean, obviously not with chocolate, but... Try mine just to make sure, because I get, like, coconut almost way, all the way through it. No? no? Hmm. Like even the aftertaste. But I get that coconut up front. Not really. And it kind of goes through. But then there's uh, uh, some citrus in there. Which I don't know if like in between that almond's just adding a little bit to that coconut. Almost like if you bit down on an almond and coconut. Mm -hmm. Like an almond joy. No, because you, it doesn't say chocolate. You're, I know, you're, but I'm just saying those two together, those two flavors, I'm not getting any of it. It tastes like I would never, ever be able to say this is coconut, almond, anything. I, yeah, I, I would never pick out the almond, but yeah, the coconut, because it's even in the aftertaste for me. What did you drink before this? Um, uh, Amarillo extract. So what's that taste? Like, um, very malty sweet. Oh, I don't know. I am not, <laughs> I am not getting this at, that. not at all. It's like two out of five. Then the macaroons like, like a cookie, right? Yeah, like a macaroons, bread cookie. Macaroons are those cutesy little decorative. Yeah. And I don't know where that's coming in because I'm not getting like a breadiness, a toasted bread, anything like well, that Well, I mean, there. they're sugar like cookies, so that wouldn't be. But I wouldn't say this is overly sweet. No, it's citrus like, beer. Yeah. And the lactose usually comes through as vanilla. I'm not getting vanilla out of it. I'd probably go a 3.5. I, 
I could still drink it, but it's not what it says it is. Eh. You win some, you lose some with these guys. And we've talked about paying $5 a can for it to not taste like it. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that. So, uh, French macaroon, this IPA is dry hopped with mosaic hops, then added coconut, almond, and a variety of sugars to create a biscuit character. No. I mean, seriously, we haven't had this beer three months? No. If that. I don't even know if I've had it for three months. Like, I went to Mega Bev. No, because I think you picked this up. And, like, the next day or the next week, I got the other Decanet Ales. Yeah. So, so it's not like it's old, no. where it's been sitting. Well, I mean, that's the last time I had bought some beer, so yeah. I guess. Lesson learned. What are you going with? I said the two. Oh, a two? I don't like it. So, five of my friends on Untapped have rated it average 3.9 out of five, a little over... 3,000 people have rated it average 3.81 out of 5. I'm sorry. It doesn't taste like it. Nope. Yep. And the details on Untap say the same thing. Um, Cody is saying the coconut's there, not getting much almond, but overall solid offering. And that's it. I don't know. I'm just going to stick with my French toast. Yep. Tyler did give it a 3.25, so he didn't like it either. And he's Yeah, you guys didn't that... like it with your threes out of five. It's still... it's. I'm not going to go into this. Yeah. I'm just saying okay. I gave it a two because it's not good. And I'm more realistic with my... Now, if you would have taken that off and just said, like, coconut, citrus, New England IPA... No, it's not thick and hazy like a New England IPA. Right, it's just but like you a... can't see through it. Okay. What are they? Gonna, we're not going to argue about this. Okay, it's double IPA. Good. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah. I I wouldn't pick it up unless you're just looking to try beers and you want to pick it up just to see what. And you want to try expensive beers. And coconut tastes like in a beer. <laughs> you want coconut and almond? Don't pick this one up. It's not going to give you what you want. Brad is on the, Brad is obviously on the, you fair on the more, I want to be fair. I'm like, no, it doesn't taste good. It's right. not, I don't like it. But I'm rating the beer how I like it. I could care less what it says on the can. I know, but what it says on the can is what it should be. Correct. Yes, I agree, but... And it's not there, so it's a two. You gave it an average rating. Yep. Because for... it's not a drain pour. You could drink it. I would drink it. Well, I'm not spending five dollars a can. No, anymore. I wouldn't buy it again. You didn't buy it to begin with. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. So if you like this review, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.